What's up, guys? So, I don't know if this has any particular correlation with the, uh, thing I'm about to talk about, but it might. Um, I know they do this before they do their thing. Um, but, uh, in January 10th, uh, January, no, January 10th? Yeah, January 10th, um, when I got Athena and Atlas, um, I brought them home. And, uh, they locked up on the 11th. Um, which was really cool for me. And, uh, I've correlated it that if she is pregnant, her babies will come in April. They shed usually, uh, 30 days to two weeks before they give birth. Um, Athena is shedding. And here it is, 30th of March. So, January, February, March, April. Um, if the correlations are correct, she should have her babies in the next 30 days to two weeks if she is pregnant. Um, she hasn't had any really large meals, so I wouldn't imagine she's shedding just to shed because it actually kind of looks like she's lost a bit of weight, and snakes don't shed when they lose weight. Um, snakes only shed when they get bigger, whether it be longer or anything else like that. But uh, I'd say she's going to be you know, close to 7 foot now. She'll probably be uh, 6 foot 11 now. Um, but yeah, she could have her babies. I'm not saying 100% positive that that is what's going to happen. But there is a at least a 50% chance that uh, I could have babies in the next two weeks, 30 days. Um, I don't think I'm going to, but I might. I'll keep you guys updated if I do, but this is spectacular. And, you know, I put her and Alice together because they're both shedding. So let's get a look at these guys real quick. And uh, a ball pythons, man, they, they shed, you know, terribly sometimes. And red tail boas and corn snakes, they shed perfectly half the time. And the cool thing about red tails, it rolls down like a sock. Let's look at this real quick. I'll show you this. This is awesome. Yeah! See what I mean? Now look at her color here versus the color here. That's how you know your snake's gonna shed. Look at this color pattern. Super soft, sensitive. Look how fat she's gotten. She's rounded. She's actually pretty freaking round. Really pink belly, which is cool. But uh, here's Atlas. He's shedding too. He's, his sheds just start coming off for the next couple of hours. Um, he's getting a real beautiful glossy coat to him. And, uh, look at how white she is compared to, to what her body was. But, yeah, this stuff, it rolls off like a sock. And I really hope she gets off quick. I might put her in the water, um, just to kind of help it. Yes, I know there's very little newspaper. It's because they tore it up. And then they took one massive poop and I had to take it out. So, collection tours coming. Um, I might just do small segments of each animal explaining it to you. It'd be like 10 or 11 episodes, but I don't know. I'm, I'm having issues with camera right now. I got a camera upstairs, but I don't have any editing software on a computer to mess with it, so... Beautiful tent. Look at that rainbow. It iridescence. Alright, well, we're going to see if we can't wait for her to get this off because it is starting to get a little dry. And I want to get this as straight as possible. And then it's going to go in the shed drawer. Yes, we have a beautiful shed drawer that also has styrofoam and other crap in it like a flame knife. But yes, let's see what happens in about 30 minutes. Maybe to an hour because it's been taking her a minute to do this. So I actually just grabbed her tail like this and she started shedding on her own. So, yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, she's actually using me to shed through. If there was any pain, she'd stop immediately. Um, this is all fresh, ready to come off. She's doing this on her own, as you can see. I'm not assisting anything except holding it. I've never done this before. Um, and if this is something that works, I will definitely, you know, do it with her from now on. She's trying to get behind the big water dish, but she can't. She's still pulling. And we're almost at the end of her tail. I'm trying to keep this as clean as possible. This is amazing, though. And as you see, look, it looks like a sock. Now, this looks absolutely... Oh, we got a nick. No. No. Is there a nick or does she have a scar back there that I don't know about? Scars will look like that too. Now, if you're really careful past the vent, which is coming up right... Look at that. Look how it comes off. We should get past the vent. We are to the vent. We are stuck on the vent. Come here, Athena. Come on, sweetie. No, don't twirl. You're good. Come on. Gentle, gentle, gentle. And it ripped. Well, fuck. Uh, there we go. I got it. Not that bad of a tear. I'll have to get in there with her in a second because she still has some on her. That would have happened regardless. That was a stuck area. Alright, and... There's Athena's shed. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's get it rolled out here in a minute.